Hello, I'm getting ready to start my Fantasy Peacock watercolor. This is my own work I'm using as my reference. I'm working on a calendar right now, so I want to I want to create a really beautiful cover page. So these are the colors I'm using. Probably not all of them, but I like to have everything ready. I've got my palette all set up, and then I mix everything over here in this mess, lovely mess. These brushes, I, I love to use a filbert. I, I use a large round and a smaller round. I'll probably bring in a little tiny brush for uh, the, the detail work. As you can tell, I don't do a lot of detail work. So I've sketched out my, I about said penguin, my peacock, and I'm ready to go. So I'm going to start with the background because that'll be the most abstract of the piece. And I'd like it to be softer blues, blues merging into aqua. So I'm going to grab a little bit of my cobalt and mix it all up over here. First thing I'm going to do is just randomly apply water, clean water. to the background because I want to do some really nice wet on wet. Get some nice blossoms. I, I like to turn my paper upside down and backwards. So, and I can dab, if I get water where I don't want it, I can sort of dab it dry. I like that. And this is really intuitive and instinctive and fun. You just kind of trust your imagination and your instincts. Oh, and of course I've got a little hair. I share a studio with my puppy. So I tend to have some organic material floating around in my artwork. Grab a little ultramarine. Dusty it up a little bit. Maybe we'll have a little shadow right around the peacock. More dog hair. I love this filbert brush. It has so many uses. You can use it the side of it. You can use the thick belly of the brush. It's just so much fun. And I'm going to leave probably fill in a lot of this area with feathers and flowers and all sorts of fantasy things. Let's let it run off the edge. A little bit more water to move things around. I love wet on wet. You never know quite what you're gonna get, but it's usually a beautiful surprise. Well, it took a long time for this to dry. It's very humid here on the Cape. I'm not gonna brush the rest of the salt off because it's still a little bit wet. Now, I'm gonna work on the body with this gorgeous Prussian blue. And I'm going to go wet on dry. Leaving the paper as my white. Go as quickly as I can. It's 
so hypnotic painting with this color. I hope my big head isn't blocking the camera. And if you have little bits of white, just leave them. They work as highlights. I wanna wet this area because it's gonna kind of blend into the fantasy tail feathers. I'm working with my number eight brush. I could I could be even using a 12 right now. I love these round brushes. Dab a little bit more. Now this is a very uh, buttery consistency. At this point. Oh, I like those highlights. So the lights kind of come in this way. Now, you know how these guys are very, very iridescent looking. I'm gonna make a nice, deep viridian green and just drag it through. And just let the water do its thing. Now I gotta let that dry. So I went ahead and filled in the, the flowers and the feathers and all the little doodads in the background. And now, just to spark things up a little, I'm gonna add some little details with using Bleed Proof White. And also I'm gonna add some darker details into some of the, some of the flowers. Got a slightly different color green here. Once a surface designer, always a surface designer. Just can't stop with the prints. That's okay. Part of my charm. center on here. 